Look at this. That's real. There ain't waves here usually. That's real. All last night, I woke up, I had dreams, I had flurries of dreams of like surfing, surfing big waves. I had dreams of me eating it. I had dreams of me making it. I had dreams about my wife. I had dreams about my kid. Like I was just everywhere. It was so crazy and I didn't have a great sleep. Um, I hope tonight's different. Still when you say massive, what do you mean by massive? Uh, you know, three, four, five story buildings, who knows? I mean, it's gonna be really big. Biggest as we've probably ever seen it for a contest. It's, um, it's coming, you know, and it's, it's out there. Are you worried? Of course I am, absolutely. You know, it's, um, it's as dangerous and crazy a wave as, as you'll ever find anywhere in the world. much as you know about it, the more you know about it. The more you know the consequences. Consequences are, are, you're gone forever. That's the truth about it. The consequences are too high to approach it in an unsafe manner. I've been surfing Mavericks since, you know, in 91. Do all the math there, that's a lot of years. In my personality, I can fill my head with doubt sometimes if I'm not taking preparation properly. Part of, of catching the way the Mavericks is, is here. I know that part is the most important part. So anything I can do to keep this not clogged and keep it free. I have a little piece I'd like to share with you, Peter, as we wish you on your way. This is uh, from Patanjali. He says, when you were inspired by some great purpose, some extraordinary project, all your thoughts break their bonds. Your mind transcends limitations. Your consciousness expands in every direction. And you discover yourself to be a greater person by far more ever dreamed yourself to be. So we wish you luck tomorrow, Peter. Check. Flotation. Inflation vest. So I guess there's a little of anticipation, excitement. You know, that, that part of where I've shaken all that fear off, it's kind of starting to build back again. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's real, it's gonna be real. I feel the pressure of these waves being so big that they're gonna be at this point of barely being able to be catchable with your hands. That's what we're doing. We're catching waves with our hands. We're not using machines. This is where you got to sit in the eye of the storm, right in the beast, and look at these things and have the cones, the balls, whatever you want to call it, to whip around and paddle and go. It's everything to have, have preparation done. You know, it's that, that scared straight thing for me. It's like I use that fear to focus on what I need to have to help me to succeed. And that's really what it comes to, is to be able to, to walk home and, you know, hug my wife and kiss my kid and, <laughs> you know, go surfing with them the next day. Yet, I still want to be able to catch some of the biggest waves out there. So it's that balance, right? That's the pressure, I guess it is, right? You know, where do you draw the line of what you're doing? Um, is it safe? Got the essentials, I think I'm good. Okay, drive safe, lights on, don't pass. 
No passing. Why Just not? enjoy the sunset <laughs> and drive. Don't pass. Okay. No passing. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you there. This is my favorite piece of the coast on all of California coast. The feelings that come up are, you know, like this, you know, this love of, of the sport, of the lifestyle that it gives me. And so I'm completely emotionally tied to it like a you know like a loved one I mean I've done this coast I mean it a lot and a lot of the times I do it alone focus on my own thoughts you know there's a lot of history in this coast for me and some bad some good oh there you go there's some lines you start to see it in the ocean you start to see these deep lines that run the whole ocean they call it corduroy and uh, when you see that stuff you know that swells up Good, you? You got some gonads to ride the Right, waves. thank You've you. You've been out to North Shore in Hawaii? I have. And I seen that, I was just like, no, you didn't. Yeah. Well, <laughs> look out here. Have you seen out here? Yeah. Yeah, what's your name, man? Yeah, Peter. Peter Mel. Peter. Percy. No Percy. Mercy. Nice to meet you, Percy. No mercy. <laughs> you security? Hug. Yeah? Hug. You hug? All right. Maybe your last hug. Okay, thanks, buddy. <laughs> I hope Brother it's not. Little, no, I, I hope, hope it's, it's not. not either. <laughs> thank you, man. Yeah, no worries. Very good. Right. Yeah. I will. Thank you. Does fear play into all this as well? Uh, of course, it'd be we'd be um, crazy to say we're not we're not scared. The anticipation of you know the swell first of all, but I mean if you're looking at a wave and you've got to make the commitment to turn around and go for it, you you have to make that decision very early, and uh, you, so you commit and you, you've really got no way except for going. And the, the exhilaration that you get when you kick out in the channel is like no other. Check it in. Yes. Good. Yeah, just got here. Yeah. Where were you? Uh, on in Santa Cruz. It's a great feeling to see all the faces again, you know, and all get into the to the zone, you know, and you kind of feel each other out a little bit. Good, good. you? Great. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, it's been yeah. a while. Hey, Pete, good to see you. You too, How you too. How are you? Hey, Here. champ. Hey, champ. What's up, champ? <laughs> Big wave surfing is about the camaraderie and the mutual respect that is given between the athletes, you know, all the people involved in the event. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Gotta be, right? That's right. Yeah. Gotta be. It's on. Six uh, cameras on the point. Uh, a boat camera on the top deck. Have you, tried, you already tested that? That's tested. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> Done enough of these contests. I know how they work. Just enjoy the people around you. Yes, it's a competition. Yes, we're going to compete. But that doesn't happen until you get that 45 minute period. It's actually really pretty, a pretty cool crowd. Trying to kind of wait for a report on what it's like. I've done so much research on swell after swell after swell, and each time they're a little bit different. And each session, the weather's a little bit different. Each time my body's a little bit different. So I need to center and, and feel it as a, an education to put myself in the zone. A week before this, I'm seeing it on a map, studying it there. And then I'm looking at wind maps and I'm studying it there. I'm looking at weather maps, I'm studying it there. And I need to see if all those pieces are coming together. And then I have to make a judgment call and, and feel a vibration so that it'll give back. You want to understand it all, you've prepared, you've put your leashes, your wax, your fins, your boards, your ski, your mind, your 
done something to your body, all of that stuff. And so then you're kind of feeling it all and making sure that you're going to be the centered point and be on point. Desi, you in my heat? I don't know. You have no idea? <clears throat> oh, you're in the fourth heat? Yeah. Because you were, weren't you second alternate? Oh, you're the first. Well, have fun today, okay? Two. Yeah, totally. It would mean a lot to repeat again, just for all the hard work I put in for years and years and money spent on getting to waves and training, and that's the part that's a sense of accomplishment. Really. I mean, yeah, check is nice, but that stuff just gets stuff. Second. Oh, you are? Yeah. It's an hour? Yeah. No, 45 minutes. So I surf in an hour. Cut, boy! Anxiety attack. Good thing I don't have to fucking surf, huh? Be stupid if you weren't concerned. Concerned about uh, Peter Mel winning, uh, the boat staying afloat. Just life in general. We'll see if we make it out there. We got this, just in case you fall over, we can poke you around. All right, let's go before Pete <laughs> has a fucking anxiety attack. I got some real. tissues in case you guys want to blow your nose. I think that respect in the big wave community is always been there. If you look back to say Greg Knoll, Pat Curran, all those guys that went out to Waimea for the first time, like that was a group of guys that all respected each other, all in the same time were actually probably competing against each other, but had mutual respect. Because you're going to do something, it's like going to war or going to do something that you can, you can die. To be perfectly honest, you could go out and do it and you could die. And everybody knows that. And you're, you know, no one else has done this before. They're going out to Waimea and no one else has been out there before. They're going out to Pipeline. No one else has been out there before. You know, that, that, that's exhilarating as being alive. But the, you needed the, the group of people, that community, for them to be able to succeed at it. All right, you got the time. Page 25. surf these big waves and you're doing something new and exciting it's good to have your community with you you know guys that want to do it together and push each other major anxiety dude it's, uh, probably one of the gnarliest waves in the world and uh, this channel is probably one of the craziest channels to get out of you have to go through a couple of the gnarliest reefs that you know boats have been sunk on a lot so yeah. it's a little intimidating but you know watch watch everyone charge it and Hopefully Pete wins. All stations, all stations, all stations. We're going to put this board Just done the gunnel, maybe? Yeah. A little bit anxious at this point in time, just because we're kind of running a little late. So I'm like, you know, I didn't get to look at the waves at all. Look, look, don't miss it. Oh my God. put the jersey on, I feel a sense of glazed over, the war has started, the heat is on, you're the warrior, and you switch to competitor mode. 
Yeah, you can take my board for sure. It's waves? Not one. Really? It was slow. Super slow. What Still is. Story? Hold your line, because when the bombs come, they're there. But everyone, Healy just nearly drowned. Why? He fucking got, they all got caught inside, he got sucked over. Couldn't pull because of the jersey. Come up barely for the second one. He's rattled, dude. Never seen Healy rattled like that. He like, came up in the wave. God, we're like, we thought for sure too. He went through the rocks. But, yeah. Okay. Just so you know, if you cut a hole, yeah, we're gonna do, it. do that. Yeah, you hole. yeah, he said he couldn't pull it. He, he tried four times. He tried to pull it, he couldn't pull it. One of the most uneven reefs I think in big wave surfing is the bottom at Mavericks. And that's what makes this wave so dangerous, is that the hold downs can be immense. And it can be a very lonely place. Because there's no one's gonna come get you. Aquaman's not gonna come underneath the reef there and grab you and bring you to the surface. There's no superheroes out there. I mean, the water safety's the closest you've got. There's all that preparation. Now I'm in warrior mode. I got the jersey on, let's get to the battlefield. That's what I prepared for. I want to be out there on the field. We're down to the wire in terms of getting him out here for his heat. Sometimes it's almost better because you don't get to sit out there and get stage fright. So. We have completed our first heat as we continue with 45 minute heats. And Peter Mel, defending champion, should be in blue in the lineup. I paddle out to the peak. I'm ready. I'm ready. One of the most important parts of riding big waves for me is getting a first wave and getting into a rhythm. I'm at the peak. I look at this wave and I'm like, oh, this is it. Poke the nose down. Keep the nose down. Lead with the head. Lead with the head. Down the face. Actually explodes underneath me and blows up behind me and almost over the top and I, I get low and I let it squirt me it hits the back of my legs hits the back of me squirts me out into the channel made wave all right I'm there I've got one I've got one hear the cheers from the channel, yeah, yeah. How good does that feel? That's the rhythm that's set right then and there. Your confidence is lifted so high. That's when a nice size set wave came. point you're buzzing like buzzing and the crowd's like screaming and yelling because you knew it was kind of a late one and everybody's you know and I'm like really comfortable at that point five minutes left it took forever sitting outside for that five minute horn going and at the end of the heat another one came another good set It had a little rib that lifted me up. When I turned down the face, what it did is lifted up everything and all turned, boards in the air, tail lands, 
everything grabs and get to the bottom. And, whew. To be perfectly honest, I was stoked I just made the wave because I didn't want to cartwheel down the face of that thing and get to the channel and I, I kick out and I'm just kind of going, wow, that was pretty radical. Heat's ended, I'm like, oh, perfect heat. Great job, dude, that was mental. Whew. All right, yeah. one down. I made that one, huh? Yeah, no, for sure. You and T Fox made that. Yeah, he probably won. No, I think he won it. Your one way was really good. Disco dance? Oh, dude, you were dance sick, you wanted to you. dance. That was rad, dude. I didn't want to fall, so I did everything I could. Hey, it makes your fun. flair for dramatics like Lee used to do. <laughs> Uh, you gotta have, you gotta have, you know, you gotta be there for the big ones, right? That's what I figured. I got two, okay. I'm gonna wait for the bomb. Yeah. That was mental. Good job, dude. Thanks. You know, it's all Brody, bro. Fuck killer wave, yeah, that was insane. You're job, but you're really kind of going, darn, you got a good one. You're not dogging each other. You know, you gotta do it a little bit because you gotta be deepest. If not, you get, you know, you get zero points, basically. No, I'm not a maniac. I'm calculated in my risk assessment. There's a certain screw loose to do what we do, but um, it's not, not everybody is like that. I mean. I don't think every one of us is crazy. Matter of fact, I don't think any of us are crazy. We're just um, we're just happy to do what we do. When I do it, I'm gonna, I want to kick out the channel. My biggest fear is to fail as a father, and um, that's it's important to me. And there's so much responsibility that comes with that. Failing as a husband too, like. That's important to me. Family is, is the utmost importance. And so I, I, I do not want to fail being a good family oriented man, whether it's to my parents, to my sons, to my wife. That's my biggest fear. I don't want to fail there. The most important things these days is, is to take care of the people that are closest to me. And I don't want to fail at that. Well, we're going into the semifinal now. Um, you know, conditions seem like they slowed down a little bit. So I'm hoping the sun will come out and all of a sudden some sets will start coming for this next heat. But, you know, a little nervous, but uh, that's okay. That's how it's supposed to be. Literally, as the jersey is thrown to me, the wind has just clocked around to a more southerly angle. When you turn that wind to the south, all of a sudden you've got this three foot little chunder coming across the face. Change the whole landscape of the lineup. Paddle out to the channel, seeing all this, seeing the wind switch, just disorganized. Get out to the bowl, it goes dead flat. The wind's going, there's no waves coming. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Well, we definitely had a, a, a change. Not only did we come out of round one heats and into the semifinals where we're about to uh, have a restart because we haven't had a wave ridden, you know, which is something we expected, Mike, with long lulls. As that wind increases, it'll get tougher. Here we go. There's action in the lineup. A couple surfers. And uh, that looks like Anthony Tashnik to me. Um, yeah, and Pete, Pete Mel was on uh, that same wave behind him. You saw him just go down, buried the nose of his surfboard and went down. But Anthony getting a nice long ride out of that one. So, you know, with the conditions changing and then these guys having to adapt, he's gonna be very psyched to have gotten that ride. Ate it. First wipe out of the event. Down, sucked over, you get lifted. There's that unweighted feeling and then just, and 
silence, open my eyes, pitch black. Black as black can be, nothing, just black. Come to the surface, board's right there. I see the water safety, give them a head pat, basically says, you're good, don't need a safety. Paddle back out around the left, and I, as soon as I get to the peak, another wave comes. But I'm, but I'm too deep, but I'm like, I want another wave. I want to get another wave, I want to get off this thing, uh, uh, this rhythm that I felt was bad, I'm just going to get another wave. Bam, two in a row. I turn around, and sure enough, tink, 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 there's bombs. And I start scrambling. I had to bail. <laughs> Everything clears, and I realize, oh my gosh, there's another one. It's a bit bigger. And I'm scrambling, and I paddle really hard, really hard, and everyone's kind of doing it, because everyone kind of getting caught. I had to bail. At that point, I knew I was behind. 10 minutes to go, I, was in, I wasn't making the heat. wave I'm saying in my head trying to tell myself that I can still do it finally get back out to the to the peak and it just tried to paddle for one all the rhythm that I had been working so hard to keep and attain was gone just never got another wave the heat ended dead last from uh, you know, at that point, I'm like, what can you do? You know, what can you do? <laughs> so, um, I lost. Heat with the contest was over. Things can change so quick. It's the ocean, I guess, right? So I went for it, even though I wasn't really even there. I used to wear the loss's heart. There's still plenty in life to get enjoyment from. Maybe not quite to the level of a big wave surfing event, but you know, enough to, to keep me smiling. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Not too amazing. I would be in the final if I did amazing. I know, but kind of wanna learn from it. You know, what did I do wrong? What could I do better if I get this chance again? You know, you start doing that a little bit. And... But you process it, process it, okay. let it go, it comes back. Like that's, that's how you deal with it. Learn from it. Take it as a positive and go, okay, what can I do better? biggest and the most important part of it all is the is the feeling is the feeling of getting down the beach riding these crazy magnificent dangerous waves and succeeding and completing it and surviving that's feeling alive and feeling life that's the main motivation behind it is that you know you get a, a real sense of living by participating in stuff like that. <laughs>